Hi, this is Rochelle at Scrapcraft Tastic, and I have a new release that's coming to Isis Ella Jewels on October 21st. It is their new disc bound half letter inserts. So they have the tab dividers. Again, this is half letter and inserts. So let's start with the tab dividers. These are a heavier kind of semi gloss weight. And this is what they look like. They're already punched, so it's pre-punched. This is the first one. This is Release Queen. This is what the back looks like. Then this. And then I think this one is my favorite. And then you got the animal print on the back. Oh, sorry, hopefully not too much glare. Okay. So that's the dividers, four dividers. Then we have, I'd already opened this one, but I just love the way these are packaged. Let's look at the packaging. So it's very simple. It had the plastic cover on it with the label sticker saying what it is. So, and then it's packaged like this. This is, I don't know, I really like the packaging. <laughs> I think it's really cool. Might try that with some scrapbook paper, maybe. This is a lightweight chip chipboard. You have a title page, then the inside pages are like the daily journal that was a spiral bound from Isis Ella Jules. Here's the journal. I have a sticker book in here because I have some ideas of things I want to do. Let me pop this in the back. And I wanted to make sure I didn't forget to use that sticker book. But as you can see, this is very similar or the same. So you have the daily pages with the prompts and then the grid page. Similar thing here. I think this is actual true half letter. And I think this was a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger, the journal. You know, the great thing about disc is that you can move things around and make it your own. Um, so yeah, these are the daily pages with the grid page. So that is the first set. Then the second set. So let's take this off. Um, box grid, 28 sheets, half letter inserts, five and a half by eight and a half inches. Again, the very cool packaging. And we have grid papers so you can use this as a journal a daily planner i love the grid paper because you can make that whatever you want but also have a guideline basically it helps line up your stickers your washi tape your handwriting um so yeah with this you can easily make your own planner or journal so i pulled out some of my discs at the time, I did not have a full set of the same color. So I decided I will alternate the clear, what I had left over from the clears, and then the frosted ones. And I thought that would be pretty cool. Now I don't have a cover yet, but I'm working on that. And hopefully I will be back in the next few days to show you the cover that I'm going to be using. So let's go ahead and put all this on discs. I think I'm going to start with... the dividers and then put the pages in between that way. So let me know in the comments, do you use disc bound? Do you use half letter? Do you use products from Isis Ella Jewels? Let me know what you think. If you haven't checked out their candles, um, though their candles are awesome. The throw is amazing. I, I did mention that I would get back with you. And I think I mentioned it before that the throw is fabulous on those, on the, well, on the candle that I have, I have the mimosa. I have it lit in the craft lab and my house is shaped kind of like an L. So I'm on one end of the L and when I am coming through like the middle of the L, starting to come in this area and it's not a small area um i can smell the candle all the way 
in the middle of the L, if that makes sense. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good distance from the candle. And I was surprised that I could smell it that far away. Um, I knew it would probably smell up this, the whole craft lab, but I didn't think it would go any further, but it, it did. And it smells really good. So yeah, I, I didn't get myself a candle warmer yet. I'm a little afraid <laughs> from some of the reviews that I read, but if you have a specific candle warmer that you use, uh, that you like, let me know in the comments so that I can go check it out if you don't mind. Okay, so we got the discs on. Now let's go ahead and put the inserts in. I think I wanna put the grid first and the grid does have very light branding at the bottom. It's very light, I didn't even notice it at first. So there is that, let's put these in. I can't wait to come back to share the cover that I am going to be using. I think for 2023, I'm gonna end up having a lot of journals versus a lot of planners. Um, because I th think that is probably gonna be more my style. I like to track things um, and it's kind of hard when I'm putting certain things down on a weekly uh, planner to go back and find those things. Sorry about my chair squeaking, it's driving me crazy. I don't know if you can hear it, but yeah. Anyway, so I think that's gonna be more of my style in the future. Change things up a little bit because I think I'm getting a little bit bored with weekly planning and it's not really serving what I need with my need to track things because it's too hard to find it and it always makes me think maybe I should just be putting this on a spreadsheet so that when I want to look up the information I can easily do a search and find it um, instead of having to go back through weekly spreads to find it so I'm going to put this next let's see yeah we'll put this maybe I should have put that in the front since it says this journal belongs to Yikes on bikes. Okay. We can fix that. <laughs> have to be careful taking the dividers in and out. Don't want to wear them out. And I was a little rough there. So we're going to put this in the front since it says this journal belongs to on it. Also, if you're not familiar with the original journal from Isis Ella Jules, the pages provide prompts. So it has mood today, date, affirmation for the day, daily gratitude, what will you do today to manifest what you want, intentional prayer. Then over here, it has word of the day, task, notes, angel numbers. And then you have the second page, which is grid. You can do whatever you want on the grid page. I find the grid page is fun to decorate in this format. Um, let me show you. Here are a few spreads that I have done. I haven't actually written on them, but the whole layout process for me is my journaling, basically. Using the stickers and the washi tape, it kind of gives me an idea of what I was thinking, what I was feeling at the time that I did the spread. So, and these are some of the spreads that I've done on pages, just like the ones that I'm adding to the disbound now. And I think I got a few more here. I think the only difference is this has divider pages with quotes and illustrations. So, but this is another spread. I think this was the first one that I did in this notebook so yeah and i started in the middle so that i wouldn't have bulk on one side of the journal and so i kind of worked my way out from that original start page so because this isn't necessarily dated uh, i did this november of last year since this isn't 
actually dated. I didn't put dates. Um, I started from the center. Okay, so enough about that. Let's get back to putting these pages in. And I still, even though I'm gonna have a cover for this, I still want to make, of course, you know, I gotta use my laminator to make a laminated cover for it. This is really cool to have the daily pages and the grid pages um, to make your own planner. You can even incorporate these pages into your existing half letter or junior size disbound planner. I do have um, an existing planner in this size. However, it is already almost full, so I didn't want to overfill it. So here we go, all the pages are in. So this is enough on these discs to hold everything nicely, okay? And like I said, the dividers are nice and sturdy. You could probably laminate them if you have a way to repunch. I'm not going to laminate mine. Uh, let's see, I'm not sure the size of these discs. Yeah, these are one and a half inch discs and I think they are both both colors are tool so if you're wondering where I got the discs they are by tool from Office Depot so that's it she's all set to go I just need to do the laminate cover and then she will go in her new full cover I think for the laminate cover, I'm going to use some vellum from Isis Ella Jewels, the jewel box, and use that to make the cover. Got the laminator up here, and then this is some of the goodies that I have still from the jewel box, previous jewel boxes um, that I can use make my covers so kind of like this but I don't know if it's gonna be big enough yeah no I think I need it to be a little bit taller than that it's almost exactly the right size let's see what all I have in here so these are scraps these are whole pieces and I like that these are double-sided, but I don't know that I want to use cardstock. I really kind of was leaning towards vellum. I even have these bags. I made a journal out of one of the little bags or envelopes. So I could use this. No, I can't. Okay, so maybe we can use this. I don't want to use the logo. Or maybe we can use this. Oh, this kind of goes with the cover that I'm thinking about using I think so let's take these out we may have to use those oh I only have one more sheet of this I don't really want to cut into it I'm hoarding that this is the snowflake hollow foil vellum I think I got some extras but I've already used it quite a bit in other planners I only have one piece all right Isis Ella Jules can we get more vellum and more acetates so maybe I'll make like a dashboard with this and then I'll put this in here somehow and everything else I'll put back in the box I'm considering using this to make the basic cover but I like seeing this image and I would love to have a clear or translucent cover all right so I'm waiting on my laminator to warm up still deciding what I'm going to do for the cover or the temporary cover but I have some new information on this collection for you so these go on sale the inserts and the dividers go on sale October 21st at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time this also is available in classic size for the classic size you can get the set of four dividers the journal which is 28 sheets the grid 28 sheets and the classic size also has 
a weekly version with 28 sheets. Then for the half letter, which is what I have here, you get the four dividers, you can get the journal of 28 sheets, and you can get the grid of 28 sheets. So you have an option of half letter or classic size. Unfortunately, you cannot use my code on this. The codes are only good for stickers. And I think that's it. So I have the half letter version. This is kind of what it looks like put together. All right, so now that you have all the information, let's go ahead and finish this up. I am going to use this. It's gonna be a kind of like a dashboard protective cover uh, until I get the full cover for it. So, which should be very soon, like today or tomorrow, but just in cases. So I'm gonna cut this in half at five and a half inches as soon as I find my blade. There we go, okay. So, we have a front and a back piece. Then I'm gonna use some five mil laminate to laminate these. Let's see if we can do two in one. Sorry about the glare. No, I'm not gonna be able to put both of them in together. So I'll just have some extra clear acetate that I can use for another project. So let's just line this up on the inside here and then run them through the laminator. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so that's one down. And then here we go with the second one. So let's go ahead and trim these up. Line it up carefully. Ooh. So I can use this for another project, so I hold on to those. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and trim all the other sides to make sure we have the same going all the way around. Let's trim this one up. Now I'm going to Take my We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper. I'm gonna use the one quarter inch side and round these corners so that the laminate isn't so sharp on the corners. Ouch, I just stabbed myself, see. <laughs> so now I'm gonna run these back through cause they're a little warped and that kind of comes with the territory sometimes with the laminate. Hopefully I'll be able to get these straightened out. It's really just this one. This one is pretty flat. Let's decide which one we want on the front. Here we go with my arc punch. So this is a little bigger than junior size, so I'm not gonna be able to align this. So I'm just gonna have to turn these ends up because I don't want them to get nicked. So that's the first one. And then I guess this is the one that's gonna go on the back. Let's pop this on the cover. And then this one on the back. So now at least until I get my full cover, I have some protection for this. And that is it for at least getting it ready to go. This is what it looks like. Don't forget to shop the sale on the 21st at 9 a.m. Pacific time. I will put the other time zones in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you may be interested in these other videos. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.